My name is Andy Yoder. I am a lieutenant at Station 29 on the Green Shift. I will have been with the Oklahoma City Fire Department for 10 years come this September. In being drawn to being a firefighter, I didn't really choose it, it kind of chose me. For the longest time, my ambitions were I was going to be a defense attorney. And I looked at my acceptance letter and I looked at my dad and 10 years worth of a dream went out the window when I said, I don't wanna go. In figuring out other ambitions that I wanted to do, the co-owner of my dad's transmission shop actually said to me, why don't you look into being a firefighter? I think you might enjoy it. And it was something that I had never even considered, not for one particular reason or another. I just had never thought of it. Well, I did a ride along on the engine of the busiest house in my hometown and I happened to catch them on their only structure fire of the year. And so they went in, they fought fire, they did a bang up job, they came back to the station, they started discussing it, they were smoking and joking about it, as we say on the fire department, and I was hooked. I think being pregnant while being on the job proposed a lot of different complications. It probably was one of the most difficult things to overcome so far. Firefighters are athletes, and so with that, I ended up delivering both my boys by C-section, and so you get a hole punched in the middle of you, and then you get to come back, and you still have to be fit enough to fight fire. On top of that, to compound everything, you are away from suppression for a year. So I'm, I'm incredibly, incredibly proud to be able to have done that. In managing the demands of being a firefighter while also still trying to be the best mother that I can be, I really don't like to take a whole lot of credit for it in that um, I have had to learn on the fly. I have had to overcome challenges every single day that I never anticipated that I would have to. And a lot of them don't even go hand in hand with having to be a full-time firefighter. It's just that parenthood is a difficult road. I'm so incredibly fortunate that I've always had a husband who who just was willing to take care of things. And it might have been from this is just what we've done. Ever since we have been together, he's known that I'm at the station for 24 hours, and for that 24 hours, he plays Mr. Mom, for lack of a better term. Balancing shift work is what I feel doubly difficult for my family in that my husband works shift work too. And so I work 24 hours, he works from 4 p.m. to midnight, and so we are the quintessential example of it takes a village, because it really does. My mother-in-law steps up all the time. She's actually our primary um, babysitter. And then within the last three years, my parents have actually relocated down here from South Dakota. They actually live right next door to us. And so they are always more than willing to help too. I'm, I'm incredibly fortunate in that I have such a great support system around me because that I feel is completely necessary in order to be able to balance being a good mother and also trying to be the best firefighter that you can be because you absolutely have to separate the two. You absolutely do. And that, and that applies to fathers on this job too, that when you're at home, you're at home and you have to put on the parent face. And, but then when you're at the fire station, it's time to work. And so it's a balance and I'm still forever learning it daily. <laughs> In being a mother, I think one of the biggest challenges has been being gone for 24 hours. The mother is the lighthouse of the family, I guess is the best analogy that I can come up with because seas get stormy, things start to go pear-shaped, everyone starts to look for the lighthouse. Well, you can't, it's hard to do that when you're gone for 24 hours at a time because you can ask any other firefighters Anything that's gonna go wrong is gonna go wrong while you're at the fire station, and I'm no exception to that rule. What? Hi! <laughs> Are you all red-eyed getting out of the bathtub? Mom, no, no. I just hanged on that and I broke it. You broke it? What'd you break? I Mr. The Boy. He broke the towel rack. He broke the towel rack. Of, of course he did. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> hey, baby, can you please go inside with Daddy just for a minute, let Mommy finish up, and then you'll come out and be able to play. Oh, grab my phone over there, please. Please. On the table. Thank you, honey. The table, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. So, in prioritizing mental health and well-being, 
Um, it was actually it's something that I've fought with, as I'm sure a lot of first responders have fought with. Just given the traumas that we see on a consistent basis, just given the nature of our job and the high stress that it can present. And so in that, I'm actually three years sober from alcohol. I'm so incredibly grateful for that because I was only able to do it by the support of my family and especially my husband in particular who had been dealing with it with me for a long time. After having gotten sober, that's when I started to really realize the importance of taking care of yourself, keeping yourself centered, prioritizing your health from the inside out in that not only do you need to do you need to take care of yourself from a nutrition standpoint, but you also need to take time to keep yourself centered to do the things that decompress your mind. I read books, I exercise a lot <laughs> and I just forever I'm trying to find ways to recognize that if my kids are overwhelming me if I'm overwhelmed by something on the job if I'm overwhelmed just by life in general find a way to get centered find a way take a moment take a breath go do something on your own go have some alone time if that's what you need it is okay to not be okay I struggled I struggled with postpartum depression with my first and it kind of inhibited my my connection with my first son. And so I've been forever trying to make up for that. But I would, I would, I would have days where I just would feel horrible and I'd feel like I was a terrible mother and I'd feel like I wasn't connected to my son. And, and that's, that's such a horrendous feeling. And I, that's one thing that I wish somebody would have said to me. I wish they would have said, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to have a bad day. It's okay to have a bad week. It's okay. The advice that I would give to women who are working mothers considering being in the fire service is that you can have both. You can find a happy balance in being a first responder, working 24 hours at a time, and still growing a family. Like anything in life, if it's something that you want to do, you can make it happen. I know women on this job who also have children. They had children before they came on the job and they adapted on the fly just in the same way that I've had to. The best thing to recognize in being a mother is that motherhood is not an inhibitor. Motherhood is not something that suppresses the best parts of you that needs to be put on the back burner. Motherhood is just more of an opportunity to do even greater things, to be an even better example for yourself, for citizens in the instance of the job. It's an opportunity to do even bigger things because now you're playing a role where little eyes are watching at all times and people look up to you and people need you. And so in doing that, you wanna be the best role model for them that you can be. To those mothers that are working that would consider the fire service, I would say do it. It is absolutely the greatest job in the world. And it is possible. It is possible to have both.